guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Complex. Today we'll be looking at an arcade pinball by Arcade 1UP. Now, Arcade 1UP is known to make a variety of arcade machines, which we reviewed previously, but this one here is a little bit different mainly because it's a digital pinball machine. <laughs> now, they really went above and beyond with this just because this here is a work of art. There's a lot of bells and whistles to it. So you have a new plunger, new buttons, flippers, solenoids, speakers, digital screen, everything is in it and is built into this, which is really cool. Now, a big shout out to rk one for sending us over. So if you guys wanted your own, be sure to check out their link down below in the description. And in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, checking it out and seeing exactly what it's all about. So without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind and unbox this thing. Here we are, it looks really cool. Awesome looking box, a lot of different graphics, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a teaser about what is to come. Now on this side here, it kind of shows all the different games that they have. So you do have a variety of different games that you can go ahead and play. Now uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what's on the inside. So this will show us the contents that it comes with. All right, so we get ourselves the order manual as well as the instruction guide. So this is everything that you get. So overall, it looks quite simple. There's not as many pieces as compared to the Arcade 1UP cabinets. And I have to say, this looks really promising. Now, uh, let's go ahead and queue up that montage and build ourselves a pinball machine. So we're finally built and overall it was not a difficult process. Now one of the hardest parts is actually the main component itself and it does come pre-built so that's actually quite nice. Now the only thing that did require some effort was building this portion right here which actually displays our uh, screen in terms of scores as well as the dual speaker. Now overall I have to say they did a great job with it. It almost looks like a real mechanical pinball machine but it's digital. Now it comes with all the bells and whistles including the buttons on the side with solenoid. So you do get that feedback as you're using it and then you even have the plunger right here too to go ahead and shoot the ball as you wish. And you also have your volume control and your toggles too between here. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. So you'll see that the marquee does light up uh, and it does have a boot up process. Uh, so being that this is sponsored by Zen Studios, Zen Studios is a pinball company that makes a variety of digital games. Uh, so they did do a collaboration with Arcade 1UP to create this. Now this here's the Marvel theme, meaning you do get the different Marvel games, including Spider-Man, uh, Silver War, Thor, Wolverine. There's a variation which we look at in just a little bit. All right, so first off, you do get a few different languages you can choose from. So you have English, France, Dutch, Italiano, Espanol, uh, and then you just hit the launch button to go ahead and start it. Now, so kind of give you a debriefing about, you know, all the different uh, buttons on the pinball machine. And you have all the different games here. So you have the Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, we have Silver War with, you know, Iron Man and Captain America battling it about. Uh, we have Avenger Force regarding the Women Avengers League. Uh, we have X-Men, uh, Charles Xavier and uh, Magneto are in this one. We've got Fantastic Four featuring, of course, all four characters. Uh, you have Thor, uh, which you also have, um, you can see that there's Loki in the back and different things like that. Ghost Rider with the motorcycle. Uh, you have Wolverine. Venom with Carnage 2. And then Fear itself. All right, so just to kind of give you a little bit of a demo, we're gonna go ahead and try out the Amazing Spider-Man. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit launch. 
And you can see that they have a single player mode, a two player mode, three player mode, four player mode, and then you can go ahead and reset the high scores. So let's go ahead and try out single and it says your game will start soon. So there is a little bit of a delay for it to start, but not that long. <laughs> All right, so check it out. It got a nice high quality screen, nice graphics. Um, when you get really close, you kind of, kind of see a little bit of the pixelation, but from a distance, it's perfectly good. So we're gonna hit that launch button to so we'll load up our ball. And the nice thing about the plunger is that it's actually sensitive. So um, if I move it slightly back, it'll go slightly back. Uh, if I go full force back, it'll kind of spring it up just like that. And then you can actually hear the solenoids kind of moving about. Um, and that's actually a, a realistic feel there. Now, you also have some solenoids on the top of the field. Uh, so when the ball goes in that area, it'll actually kind of make the sound right there. See, I'm not doing anything. How cool is that? So it gives you that realistic feel uh, as if uh, there's actually like a mechanical mechanism inside. All right. And the fun thing about these games are that there's different levels. So you have to like hit three different things uh, and they'll go ahead and unlock a level and then you can actually see the animations play out. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Oh, snap. All right. <laughs> oh, is this boy? Oh, no! <laughs> All right, so ball out. Uh, we're going to load up the ball again. And we're going to go ahead and use the plunger there and shoot it. All right. There we go. All right, there we go. Back up there again. All right, so it's ball out. And it gives you like an exact readout what happened here. So total score, five million. Check it out, game over. <laughs> so that was actually a lot of fun. Um, and then um, you go ahead and put your initials in there. So you just go there, S, M, K. Sweet, and then shows our high score right over there. So it's actually a lot of fun. Um, I actually enjoyed that game a lot. Uh, definitely very unique and uh, has a lot of quality playback value. Now moving on to something else uh, to kind of show you some of these other games in here. Focus. So for instance, if I wanted to see a little bit more about this, I can hit the menu. And then from there, I can hit toggle and talk to me about all the different characters and the different games within the game. So it just shows you like, you know, make sure you hit this, make sure you hit that, and then this will happen. So it's actually kind of nice that they include these tips too. And yeah, so overall, it's actually a lot of fun. They did a great job with it. I love the fact that there's so many different games that you can play and 
It itself is an experience that is well worthy among all the RK1 cabinets. Now, I would highly recommend this, especially if you already have RK1 cabinets. This here is a great addition to the rest and kind of gives it a very unique aspect. Now, other than that, I think they did a great job in terms of the quality build. I love all the chrome pieces. I love the plunger. I love this little portion right over here as if it's actually a quarter coin slot right here. That's kind of neat. And then, yeah, I mean, it's just a really eye-pleasing piece and, and definitely will look great in any game room. Now, other than that, if you guys had any questions, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.